and taking off from Guantanamo Bay in the PC-21 on loan from the Brazilian Air Force beautiful beautiful paint scheme okay uh, we'll break off two brakes on coming through 70% release the brakes 80 90 coming up to 100% 100% Fifty knots, sixty, seventy, eighty, rotating at ninety five degrees. Let's hold up there, yep. Tap the brakes, positive rate of climb, gear up, flaps up. Alpha decreasing and about 200. About 200 knots. I should be able to let go of the stick. Mike India Golf copy. Tower Migman 007, continue for west departure. Right now, let's uh, let's go out to sea and come back over the airport. Head to waypoint one, which is east of the airport. Very smooth water today too. It's uh, yep, uh, landing lights off. Um, very deceptive when it's that smooth. Nice beach there. Right, so waypoint one is an intersection, basically basically going around the east coast of the bay. Waypoint one and two. Let's stay about 500 feet, I think. Let's check that altimeter. Yes, it's, that's it. Five miles across the the bay here. It's quite flat down here. Nope, they built some new um, wolves and docks since I was last here. It's good to see. Uh, two miles. Migman 007, leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Mike and Duke off copy. Tower Migman 007, frequency change. Right, there's an intersection here somewhere. I think it might be that one, That's, that is an intersection. And it's in about the right spot, so that'll do. It's really just a guide, this one, these first couple to get us around the, around the bay. Now head up the eastern shore. We're just going up to the um, northeast corner of the bay. That's way point two. It's an easy way to think about it. Sitting on 500 feet. It's all looking pretty nice. Gonna declutter my map. That's better. Uh, I should pull it up down here, I guess. It's there. You go. You can see. Just come inside five miles. It's basically just up in this corner. Then we're heading northwest to a dam. Let's 
super nice, haven't been here for a while. Just taking our time. Right, now to the uh, waypoint three, 5.5 miles to the northwest. Shouldn't be hard to see, it's, it is a dam. Takes us across the top of the bay. by three miles we should start to see the body of water soon might climb to a thousand feet should make the task easier it's quite rural down here small towns here and there an airport yes did I mention that on my uh, yeah, waypoint three, that's it. Yep, yeah, we're here. Damn, it's not a dam, it's an airport. Right, well that is quite easy to see. Very cool, we'll come back there later and do some touch and goes. It's Mariana Grajala's airport. Waypoint four is the dam. Right. And it's about ten miles, same direction. So, pretty easy flight plan so far. We fly across the bottom of the bay, up the east side. Northwest, we pass over that airport and to a dam. Then we head directly west and then back south. It's fairly simple. Now, in this case, we've got rising ground as well, so I'm going to go to 1500 feet. Very very large town there actually it's um, what's well, the town of Guantanamo and yeah it's quite big that'd be the dam over there somewhere I'm still climbing we've got to clear this ridge Very nice. The fuel is good. Took quite a bit on at the start. I don't want to run out like I did up the other day. Up near Holguin. Said 60 pounds left and just flamed out. I don't know what's the point of showing 60 pounds. It should show point of no return with flashing red lights. Right, and here's the dam. Very cool, it's quite a long dam too. Then we're heading west in a moment to 8.5 which is a town. Two more towns, the beach, and then east back to Guantanamo Bay. Charming. Great spot for a picnic right, right there. Beautiful. I'll have to bring the, uh, the Bell helicopter up here later on. doesn't get much better than that. Great reflections as well. Fantastic. Well, might fly around this hill. Actually we could follow the water all the way up to 
to the end as well. Next time, next time. So I'm flying Nap of the Earth, trying to get back on a westerly heading, and I'm about 7.9 miles from uh, the town of Los Reynaldos. I reckon I could just about land this there, but I won't. I could definitely land the shock hub there, and I might. I could see some chimneys, that would be a clue. That's a nice, I could possibly land on that road, that's a quite a long straight stretch there not that I want to land this uh, off outside an airport but it's supposed to be good practice to uh, look for alternate landing spots and here's the town coming up I'll fly around those chimneys that seems to be the epicentre we're pretty much heading south after that till we get the coast so a lot of cardinal directions in this head the east north northwest west south then east again that's the town nice Suns are getting strong. Um, 7.9 miles to 8.6, town of El Ramon. And it looks like we're going to go into some terrain now. It's quite a nice flight, this one. If I say so myself. There's yeah, some nice variations. I'm thinking we can fly just around the end of that ridge. That's where I've put the flight plan. Four miles. Must be just past that long ridge, I reckon. Pretty steep, too. past it. No, I don't think so. Quite five, six. The, the autopilot tends to leap ahead to the next waypoint before you get there. Oh yeah, it's tucked in here. I remember this now, yeah. It's right the hidden valleys. Let's circle around and have a look. Yeah, it's a tiny, tiny town. Lots of, lots of high ground around it. But very clear, and you've got two rivers there. Looks like one river. Yep. It's a very cool spot. I'm just looking for my heading. Uh, I think it's down this valley actually. Compass back on. Yep, I've steered us down this nice valley along a river. Cool. For about 10 miles, yep, 8.3 now. Seem to be following the river. We will 
off to hop this reach, I'd say. Or we could fly over to the left. But let's, we can do it, so let's do it. And should see a beach coming up. Through that gap, I believe. Just for a bit of out of drama, that's where it's pointing. And this is Kazono, Kazono Beach. Kazono. Kazono. Kazonal. Kazonal Beach, probably. Kazonal. Look at the great reflections there, too. Oh, wow. Here we come. Here's the beach, a nice little town. Hey! Beautiful. Follow the shore back to Guantanamo. It's about 15 miles. Well, it's certainly some dramatic shoreline down here as well. Look at the ridges back there, big bays. Super nice. No, no ships around today. There was a hint of a carrier group in the area, but uh, I can't see it. It's not on my, um, what do you call it, uh, TCAS? ECAS? E no other aircraft, uh, no ships I can see. Just us and the clouds. Beautiful. It's almost a lenticular cloud formation out there, which, uh, you know, I saw in an old book about UFOs a long time ago. Fantastic reflections there. We better call up the base. Got them tuned in. I'm going to have to bump. I don't think. There it is. This radio is getting very dodgy. Um, tower is 1134.1. Should be it. Boom. Can't see it. Channel 2. Well, I can see it, actually. Channel 1. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Mike India Golf 2. Tower Migman 0075 miles west, 1800 feet to land. Migman 007 Tower. Altimeter 29er, decimal 9er 6, wind tree 19er at 6. Check that. Fly left traffic runway 28. Excellent. Mike and you golf copy. Fly left downwind runway 28, Migman 007. Very cool, we're set up for that now. Pretty good distance as well. 24 degrees outside. Nice and balmy. Beautiful. I did see another some navigation lights down there, but anyway. She reckons we're good to go. We'll get clearance to land just about now. Uh, PC-21 landing checklist. PC-21 landing checklist. Fuel. Altimeter. Penetration 240 knots. Below 180 gear down. Flaps 1. Circuit 160. Final 120. Flaps full. Trim for landing. 
Threshold 110. Flare and throttle to idle. Lower nose wheel. End checklist. Oh, I should have done that earlier. Mike in your golf copy. Clear to land runway 28 Mikman 007. It's quite the long readout. Anyway, it's just started moving my checklist to the onboard data pack I take with me. And great, I don't have to take my hands off any of the flaps too, of the controls to get all that info. I'm just going to time it better next time. Coming in fast, but on glide slope. A long runway, so not too worried about that. Settle very slowly. Touch, touchdown, beautiful. Uh, brakes, brakes, air brakes. Need some rudder. Uh, I gotta get our flaps up and stick back. See that? Whoa, it wants to fly again. Okay, now no, don't do that. Right, toe brakes. Missing all the taxiways. Taxi yep, that's the one I want. There's another one up there. Go for that. Yeah. Right, flaps up. Gorgeous uh, horizon up there. The clouds look awesome today. And contact ground around Lincoln about zero here. Zero seven. Contact yep. ground on one one eight decimal four five. Mike and you golf copy. Going to one one eight decimal for five Mikman zero zero seven. One one eight decimal four five, I think. Yeah, this uh, Anyway, but on Monday I've got a new uh stick arriving and the paddle that pulls up the ATC should be back into service hopefully so for the moment by oh, that forklift is moving along yeah for the moment uh, I just might be making all the radio calls big airport and uh, like that tower the beacon well, I think I'll park right here I think good parking brake on look forward to to exploring uh, Guantanamo a little bit more